All right, Clifton Alden Station Review. I'm here and I have a few minutes, so I might as well review the station. So I am on the westbound tracks towards Wawa, and this is it. There's a car park right here. Should I say a car park? Uh, we have the original station house right here. Here this was built is on screen now. So the payment system on SEPTA regional rail is kind of weird. Uh, their website says you either need the SEPTA key card, which is like kind of like a MasterCard, but for SEPTA. Um, and this is the little thing. So I'm gonna tap my, my credit card, Discover card and see what happens. Okay, yeah, so it does not work, unfortunately. They won't just charge you a flat rate. So looks like I'm going to have to buy the ticket on the train. And hopefully they come by, or technically I'll be fair evading, but not really because there was no way for me to pay because I don't have the key card. So that's Septa's problem. They should probably figure that out because it is a barrier to being able to use the system. If you want to use the system honestly, and not fair evade on purpose, then it's kind of difficult. On this side, because they don't expect people to be waiting here very much because it's the evening commute, so you'll be just going to your car. But in the morning, they do expect people to be waiting more because they're waiting to go into, deep, into Philly. So they'll be on that side where they have a bit more cover. And I think that building's open in the mornings. Could be wrong about that though. But there's still this, which is nice to protect you from the wind and the elements and those snowy January days. So, hey, at least we have a schedule here that is recent. And let's see, today's a normal weekday. Moving to Tuawa. We are at Clifton Alden. And the 214, I believe, is the train we're getting. They've also got a map of the whole system. Today I've gone to here, got off, got back on. Drexel Hill transferred to this one. I got off at Creek Road, got back on, and then I got off here, which is just right over there. And now I'll be taking it all the way back to Wawa. And this this map is, is correct, 2022, makes sense. This station gets a ton more ridership than any of the least used trolley stops that I showed you earlier. Check out that video right up here. I found another little ticket machine thing. I believe you can tap your key card here, but this other thing is broken. Again, making it harder to do the right thing, less people will do the right thing. It's that simple, generally. All right, so I got on the train and was on the way to Wawa. And unfortunately, no conductor even walked past me while I was on the train. Um, no one was checking tickets, nothing. So I was not able to purchase a ticket on the train with the card. So I guess technically I fair evaded, but can you really evade something if it was never prompted to you? So I don't think I did anything wrong because I asked some people who live in this area and they said that the conductors come to you so you can pay rather than the other way around. I assume if I got on in like central Philly, someone would have come by, but because I got on in the suburbs to the suburbs, I guess they just don't care enough. So I guess to SEPTA hate money or maybe it's just not worth it. Anyway, thank you for watching this quick video. My first video outside of the DC area in the recent years, of course. Thank you for watching. Have a great day and uh, make sure you touch some greenery once in a while. Doesn't have to be grass, but grass is cool too. Have a great day.